Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to talk about uh, what is a virtual machine and what is virtualization in general. So virtualization is technology that you can use to create virtual representations of servers, storage, networks and other physical machines. So it basically means that you can virtualize different physical devices, be it a server, a storage device, a networking device or other physical hardware. Okay, but how can you do that? You need to install a piece of virtualization software called hypervisor on top of your physical hardware that you want to virtualize. So you can install hypervisor on top of the physical device and then use it to segment your physical hardware into various virtual segments. And each segment will have a few computing resources of your hardware like CPUs, random access memory or RAM and storage. Okay. Uh, also, there are two types of hypervisors. Type one is called bare metal hypervisor wherein you install hypervisor software directly on top of your physical hardware as you can see in the diagram so this is the physical server or the physical hardware you can say and you are trying to install hypervisor software directly on top of your physical hardware so so this type of virtualization is called bare metal virtualization okay so um, the examples of this type of hypervisor are VMware's ESXi and Microsoft's Hyper-V. So those two hypervisors are bare metal based hypervisors. All right. Then there is another one which is called type two or it is also called hosted hypervisor. Okay. So uh, in hosted hypervisors, you install an operating system on top of your physical hardware and then install the hypervisor on top of your operating system layer. Okay, so for example, uh, you so, so for example, just uh, assume that you have a Windows laptop and you want to learn Linux operating system. Okay, so if you want to learn Linux operating system on top of, uh, I mean, in a, in a Windows laptop, so you need to install Linux operating system, right? So one way is you uninstall your current operating system, which is Windows, and then install the Linux operating system in your laptop. Okay, but in this way, you're going to lose your existing operating system Windows. The other way is what you can do, uh, you can install a hosted hypervisor, example, Oracle VirtualBox. So Oracle VirtualBox is one of the hosted hypervisors that can be installed on your uh, laptop. And then you can create uh, multiple virtual machines and install different operating systems. For example, you can install Linux Ubuntu operating system in one virtual machine, and another in another operating uh, in another virtual machine you can install Linux Red Hat operating system, and in another one you can install Kali Linux, and so on. Okay, so each virtual machine is going to have its own operating system. I mean, it can have its own operating system and it can be used for uh, different purposes. And each, each virtual machine is going to be completely isolated from each other. Okay, and uh, the virtual machines are going to use the resources of your hardware. In this case, it's a laptop. So whatever resources in terms of CPU, memory and storage you have in a laptop will be divided amongst the, all the uh, different virtual machines. Okay, so uh, type one or uh, the bare metal hypervisors have less latency and are more efficient in terms of performance as there is no additional layer, as there is no additional layer between the hardware and the hypervisor. Okay, so just remember that. Now let's understand what is a virtual machine from an enterprise point of view. So suppose you have one single physical server you have one single physical server of 1500 GB hard disk, 64 GB RAM and 16 virtual CPUs or CPUs, not virtual CPUs, but 16 CPUs. Now you need to install, let's go back to our first slide. 
Now you need to install three applications which run on three different operating systems and each application should be completely isolated from each other. Okay, so this is the scenario. So if this is the scenario, you can use a hypervisor which can be installed on your physical server and then create three different virtual machines for three different type of applications. All right. And then install the three operating systems to be used to deploy these three applications. And then after you have uh, after you have created your virtual machines, you can finally install your applications. So three applications can be installed in three different virtual machines. These virtual machines have different operating systems and they are completely isolated from each other. Okay. So, so this is the one classic scenario of virtualization where you want to use it, where you want to use the hypervisor. Okay. So in this way, you can save a lot of costs. So in, in this example, you can see we used one physical hardware to install three different applications, which needs different runtime environment. Okay. So, uh, in this way you can save a lot of costs and also spinning up a virtual machine is, is pretty quick and easy to do. So, uh, it doesn't take long as well. Okay. So there are, uh, uh, multiple benefits of using virtual machines. Okay. As compared to physical machines. All right. I hope you understand all the concepts. If you still have doubts, please put it in the comment section and I'm going to answer all your queries. All right. And if this is the first time you have visited my channel, I make videos on how to get a job in DevOps, cloud computing and Linux domains. So do check out my channel for other helpful videos. All right. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video and I'm going to see you in the next one.